It's 10 a.m. at the new state-of-the-art Seattle Public Library downtown. A structure that has been applauded for its magnificent design and architecture is also being recognized for its public access to technology. I know that our computers are quite heavily used, not just here at the Central Library, but at all of our libraries. Marcellus Turner is city librarian of the Seattle Public Library. He says that in 2011, computers at all Seattle Public Library branches were used for a total of 980,000 hours. Collectively, patrons used these computers for nearly one million hours last year. That probably translates into quite a few people when you recognize that they can only have up to two hours per day. Why are so many people using computers in public libraries? No one knew the true answer until a groundbreaking study was completed by faculty in the University of Washington iSchool. It's the first time that anyone had done a statistically generalizable study of the entire U.S. demographics around the use of public library computers. Mike Crandall, chair of the Master of Science in Information Management program at the UWI School, says that before the study, no one really knew what people were doing with computers in libraries and what impact they had on their lives. We've had lots of um, anecdotal and case type studies but nothing that was really able to make a broad statement about the general population in relation to libraries. So Crandall, together with Professor Karen Fisher and a team of iSchool researchers, conducted an extensive U.S. impact study that examined the importance of access to public library computers. The study found that around 77 million people were using computers in public libraries. Over two-thirds of the American population age 14 and older had used a public library in the past year. And of those, about half had actually used a public access computer in some way, shape, or form. Some people use library computers because they're traveling and need to check their emails. Others use them because the bandwidth is higher than what they have at home. For kids in particular, we found that the competition in a multi-child family for using the single computer to do homework was a driver for them to come to the library. Many of the kids preferred to do their um, homework at the library because they felt that it was a quieter space than home. They were less distracted. The U.S. Impact Study was supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Institute for Museum and Library Services. Deborah Jacobs is director of the Global Libraries Initiative at the Gates Foundation. She says that in a day when some question the need for public libraries, research like the U.S. Impact Study is crucial. We've been fighting since the mid-90s with people saying, oh, with the internet, do you really need a public library? And I think Bill and Melinda, from their initial investment in public libraries and um, uh, their commitment and belief in the work of libraries, knew that, yes, indeed, we needed public libraries more than ever in, in this time of an opportunity divide. And this work just further affirmed everything that the Foundation has been believing in and funding and helping others see it.